Damn, another fire. I'm gonna get better at this someday. J Jack? Jack, what are you doing in the middle of the woods? Oh, oh hey Jake. I'm uh, I'm backpacking coast to coast. It, you're five minutes from your house though, what? You gotta start somewhere. I mean, I got a little distracted. You see, I was tracking the uh, the North Midwestern horned sideways cat. Oh? Side cat for short. Oh, of course. It's around here somewhere. I knows it. Gotta track it. Gotta find it. I was calling it to see With if I could hear With a slide it. whistle? None yet. It responds to calls of its own kind. It's like a duck whistle. A slide whistle? Oh yeah, those things are fierce. So they have a? Do they have a slide whistle, or is that just no, like just one call from their gullet, and you'll slip on your ass, and they'll get you with their seventeen prehensile pincer tails. Oh damn! Sting you with their venom. This is a slap you around with their flippers. This is a very. Is this just like a headbutt you with their shell? I'm sorry. <laughs> Flashbacks. All right. Well, I gotta go track it now. So let's go. All right. Hey Jake, come over here. Find it? I think I found the side cat's den. There's this basin here where its uh, its eighth and ninth legs can coil up into a cylinder. And then that's the hole where the rest of its body slumbers. That uh, that looks pretty small, Jack. Are you sure it's not just like a rodent hole or something? No, no. The side cat can uh, compress its body into one millimeter gaps. Plus, here's its web right here. Huh. Oh, okay. And, and would, would you say that's where it was eating? Right there? That? Oh, no, no. That's you, you can't just jump to conclusions. You need more evidence to know that that was a side cat doing, you know? Okay, all right. Oh, here's the lid. So, so an integral part of tracking your prey is to uh, always leave a trail so you don't get lost. Right, yeah. That was the only one of those I had. I think I, I, think I see its tracks here. Uh, did you read that? Yeah, no, they're not like in the ground. They're like uh, they're like a good two feet above the ground because it hovers. Oh so yeah, the, the of tracks. Yeah, the tracks are like right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, maybe it's maybe it's still close by. It's a frog well, statue. Yeah, the tracks lead here. Don't be fooled though. Side cats can disguise themselves as frog statues. They uh, see in their natural habitat, the, their main predator is the flying mollusk. And uh, by disguising themselves as a frog statue, they can, uh, they, can, they can defend themselves because the mollusks will swoop down and they'll see the art and they'll look at the frog statue, but they'll get bored of it rather quickly and move on. So it's a foolproof defense, but luckily, I can see through it. No, that's a real statue. Jack, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm setting a trap for the, the side cat. Oh, okay. I mean, it was just two sticks? No, I got this third one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, no, that makes sense. That's a long stick. Yeah, so it's like... And it kind of goes, it'll be like, like, uh, like this. Oh. And then, yeah, like, so then it'll be like, it'll come in here and be like, oh, I'm trapped, you know? So it speaks? Oh, yeah, yeah, 32 languages. Oh, wow. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that thing in Italian. All right, the trap has been laid, but there's one more thing to lure in the side cat. Presentation. Oh shit, there it is! Ah. Oh, it's got, got him getting me with its horned barbs! Oh, it's quills that are in my back! Oh my god, it's licking me with its bioluminescent tongue! 
Oh my god, it's, it's seen me with sonar. It's echolocating. Ah, the electric eel. Oh, it's sweating milk. It's getting slippery. All right. We did it. I think I got it. Well, I'm going to the East Coast now. All right. See ya. Bye.